beautiful family. So it's Stephen here, the 1st of September in the year 2024. I'm on the back of the bus, I'm on my way to Whitby to meet with uh, Evangelist Paul and Lisa. And uh, hopefully, well, prayfully, uh, we will uh, we will reach some souls with the, with the gospel of Jesus Christ because he's coming any second. When he comes, will the Son of Man really find faith on the earth? Jesus loves you. And uh, I pray, Lord God, that you would remind them all that you love them very deeply, Lord God. I pray their confidence in you and their confidence um, in themselves will be lifted and they will know they can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens them. Lord God, I pray you bless them all and lead them. I pray to pray for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for them, Lord. Fill them with joy, grace, love, peace, tender, loving forgivenesses and kindnesses and mercies, Lord God, and help us to sharpen our faith, Lord God, so that when you come, we, we will be watching in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, guys, so, oh, hello. What a morning, yeah. right? I, I, can't, I can't believe it. I couldn't sleep last night. I, I just couldn't sleep. And, um, I think it's because it was so muggy, so muggy, and I just couldn't sleep. And then uh, I set my alarm. I set my alarm for him. I think I set my alarm for about eight o'clock, and um, it didn't go off. Or I didn't hear it. <laughs> Something happened. So, so I, got, I didn't wake up until eleven a.m., which is just like off the charts. So anyway, so. Uh, and I, I ran, I, I ran a taxi and he said, uh, we'll have one in half an hour. And I, I said, no, don't matter, put the phone down. And, and I, I literally, I, I packed last night, so that was one thing. I made a quick smoothie, in the shower, bump, uh, flying around like a headless chicken, which I don't like to do, because it sends your mind all over the place. You know, it's nice to get up and drink a cup of coffee and think, you know, gather your surroundings and everything. But uh, anyway, I hope you can hear me all right. Um, so I'm going to visit, uh, visit, I'm going to meet up with Paul and Lisa, I've already met them once, we preached together in York, uh, but um, anyway, I just, I might, I've come on here as usual asking if you guys will pray for us, because uh, pray that the Lord was, I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's drizzling, and he said just cloud for today, so um, I, I'm asking you if, you if you'll pray for us, because uh, uh, pray that the Lord shuts the heavens. Um, even if we, even if we go, and there's just one person that believes, and uh, and there are even just a handful of people that are blessed with the love of God and the free spirit of the Lord, and given hope, then uh, and seeds planted for the tribulation um, for those people who unfortunately going to have to see things to believe in them. Uh, but uh, even if it's just that then it's worth it. And even for the fellowship, to be honest, with Paul and Lisa, they, 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 uh, they shine for Jesus, and, um, and uh, they're just a lovely couple, and God has given them a gift of being able to heal, to lay their hands on people and heal them. All glory to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, <coughs> so, so they'll be doing their stuff I'm, I'm going to be trying to hand out the gospel tracts I've got because I know about this demonic invasion and that's the gospel tracts I've got um, when the church is raptured I know that um, I don't know that it's going to be Project Bluebeam and, and um, together along with these actual things manifesting and, uh, we'll see but anyway I've never got enough about that I just, want, I just come on in quickly and I'm going to upload it straight away so you'll get it so you pray for us please beautiful family Thank you. Uh, just pray what the Holy Spirit asks you to pray, but I'm, uh, that I be doing this not in my own strength, but in the strength of the Lord and, and a tangible, powerful presence of the Lord. And um, I thank you for prayers. I thank you for the first prayer because it's so important. Um, all right, family, because uh, we're living in the final moments of the end of this age, and Jesus Christ is coming, and, and uh, things are going to get uh, bad once the church is gone. So. We've, We'll try and snatch some onto the ark, and, and if, if, if they don't listen, then um, they're going to get a rude awakening. And I, I know that most people won't listen, 
I'm not prophesying and declaring this over myself. I just know that's the case. I'm just talking realistically, you know. So anyway, enough about my words. I've just come on here very quickly to ask you to pray. Now I'm going to pray because I still don't even feel awake. Um, I've had one cup of coffee and <laughs> I don't really need two, so, so I'm just going to pray about the stuff. All right, family. I love you all. God bless you all. Um, Jesus is coming. It's coming like a thief in the night uh, to those who who are not saved, basically. Like a thief in the night. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast, which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. Hold fast and, and do not grow weary in well doing. For in, in due season we will reap if, if we uh, do not faint. So God bless you guys. Jesus Christ is coming. This is what I'm about to announce. And um, more than that, anyway, the Lord will speak through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.